What's up? What's good? Welcome back to, once again to Don't Toy Me, Miss Nagatoro. Now, in the last week's episode, we kind of saw that uh, <clears throat> Senpai was kind of fighting back, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he, uh, it was during the festival, is what I'm trying to say. Like, during the festival, we saw that they were trying to go see, like, the fireworks and shit. And, um, <clears throat> and uh, Senpai kind of took Nagatoro to, like, a little area that he knows about, like, a little secluded area or whatever. And, like, she was trying to put him on the spot, you know, like, how she usually does, you know, how she usually fucks with him and shit. So basically, she started like trying to put him on the spot and shit, and uh, Senpai was kind of like, he was kind of turning the tables or whatever, which I thought was pretty funny, you know. Uh, she was kind of like trying to like make these little, I guess, like these little uh, jokes and shit, and uh, he was like, oh, what do you mean? Like, tell me more detail and shit, you know. And uh, he basically flipped the tables around on her, which I thought was pretty uh, was pretty hilarious and funny. And uh, we also saw that uh, before that uh, Nagatoro, I guess, I don't know if she was planning to go to like the festival or not. It seems like she wasn't gonna go to the festival, you know, cause she had a little, uh, she had a club activities or whatever. But when she got that, um, when she got like the selfie of the picture from Gamo and from Yoshi that uh, they were basically with Senpai, we saw that she kind of like she left the club activities, she fucking booked it over to the festival, which I thought was fucking hilarious and shit. Uh, anyways, that was kind of like the gist of last week's episode, or at least like some of like the funnier parts that I remember, or whatever. Anyways, let's just hop into this one and uh, let's see what's up. Here we go. I think this one's episode eight. So we're starting off right here with uh, Nagatoro again. Oh, well, she's telling Senpai about uh, if you basically if he fails the class, he's gonna have to repeat. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's gonna be in the same class as her. That's basically what she's trying to tell him. That's what I'm guessing she's trying to tell him. We're about to find out right now. Yes, he's saying we'll be in the same class. <laughs> that was suck for him, bro. Imagine like being like. Not just being tortured and bullied during like your little club activities or whatever, but like throughout like the whole class and shit. That would fucking suck. Well, actually, we know that he actually might like it because he likes being around it regardless of her fucking with him or not. He enjoys your company. See what I'm saying? It wouldn't be boring at least with you around. <laughs> and he's getting a little bit more bold. My boy right there, my boy Senpai is getting a little bit more bold. You know what I'm saying? As we saw with last week's episode, as I mentioned earlier. Oh, he's gonna have to be with them though, too, if you're a piece of gray. Like, it's not just gonna be a uh, Nagatoro that he's gonna be with. He's gonna be with Gamo and Yoshi, too. Okay. <laughs> they're gonna be fucking standing over him. If he repeats twice, they're gonna be his upperclassmen. Imagine that torture that he would have to go through, bro. <laughs> he's imagining all this shit right now. He's like, he's gonna be like, nah, fuck that. I gotta study. Like, I can't fucking repeat. Like he's like, he's like, nah, fuck that. Like, I can't be there in the class, man. Fuck the bullshit. Get me a red bean bun. She wants some mushroom snacks. Oh, I seen those, uh, crun crunchy panda snacks. Those little mushroom snacks. I seen those. They got them over here. They're like little mushrooms and they're like, uh, dipped in chocolate and shit. They're pretty good, actually. She's gonna be thinking something. She's gonna be thinking something like hella, like uh, like out there. I bet you anything. Don't worry, she'll be gentle. Gentle. Yeah, she's gonna think something. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, I told you she's gonna think like something like hella out there and shit. Like her mind's gonna start running wild. Well, you can. I mean, it's understandable. Look at the fucking things that they're saying and shit. <laughs> <laughs> She's pissed, bruh. Trying to catch him in the act. <laughs> there goes her yonder side right there. Now you do not want to piss off Nagatoro, bruh. I'm telling you. You can tell because her fucking friends are scared of her, bro. Splinter. Let's see what she's gonna say. She's like, what the fuck? Oh, she's like, nah, that's my job, bruh. <laughs> she's still pissed off, look. <laughs> like, I like clapping in the back. Rock, paper, scissors. Hello, slow. <laughs> she does not want to lose, bruh. She's doing this shit hella slow. She won. It look, kind of looked like he let her, like, like he let her win, though. 
the victory pose though. I'm trying to be considerate, he said. <laughs> this is perfect for you though. What? She's gonna say something stupid? This is what she's gonna say. Oh, yeah, never mind. It's not gonna be something stupid. It's gonna be like, you know, like usually like an anime or manga or whatever. When they train, they were like heavy ass shit. See what I'm saying? That's what she was gonna say. When she, as soon as she mentioned like manga and shit, I was like, oh, I know what she's talking about. I thought she was gonna be like, you're lucky you're carrying a girl stuff, not like this, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Slapping the shit out of him. Yeah, when she said that, I thought she was gonna say something stupid, you know, like you're carrying a girl stuff or something. But she made that reference to training gear in anime and manga. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> she jumped off with the quickness. I'm going this way. She got she got embarrassed, huh? I bet you anything. She kind of looked like she got embarrassed. Let's see right now how they show her face. I don't think she's mad. I think she was just shy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She was just shy, bro. She didn't get pissed off. <clears throat> He's gonna say watching TV or something. <laughs> Calling on the phone. Oh, she's in the shower in the bath. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking freaking out, bro. <laughs> he's hella stuttering. Did you just press the fucking video by accident? I think you just press the fucking video chat by accident. That's gonna be hilarious. You try to put him on the spot, but the tables are gonna. She's gonna get hella red, but she's gonna get hella shot when she notices that shit. I knew that she fucking pressed the video by accident. She was trying to put him on the spot, but now that the fucking video is on, she's gonna be the one that's gonna be like hella shy and shit too. She hasn't noticed it yet either. He's, oh, he's on Twitter right there. You're on video. She <laughs> <laughs> look, look at her fucking face. That's what she gets though for trying to fuck with him, bro. Karma's a motherfucker. Yeah, they're like gonna be hella awkward. All <laughs> I saw was his shoulders and up. Which is correct, he didn't really see anything. All he saw was his shoulders and up. <laughs> That's what she gets up, uh, bro, for trying to fucking uh, put him on the spot and fuck around with him all the time. <laughs> like fucking awkward silence and shit. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so that was my reaction to uh, episode 8. It was a pretty, it was a hilarious episode, bro. You know, uh, well, <clears throat> I thought it was hilarious anyways. Uh, like at the beginning of the episode, she was basically telling him, "Hey, if you don't like, if you don't like, buckle down and study, we're not. You're not gonna be my senpai anymore. We're gonna be in the same class." And then he was like basically picturing himself in class with her and shit. And then uh, later, a little bit like later on, he pictured himself with her, Yoshi and Gamu, and he basically, you know, he basically just saw himself being tortured by him. So you know, that, that was fucking hilarious. Like watching like his imagination be like, "Oh fuck!" Like. Like, if I repeat the grade, they're going to be torturing me and shit. And then, uh, <clears throat> you know, we had the little, um, I guess the little misunderstanding. Like, when uh, <clears throat> when she was, like, behind the door and shit, and they were trying to remove the splinter. And uh, her fucking mind, uh, her mind went elsewhere, bro. Like, she had, like, uh, she started imagining, like, all these crazy thoughts and shit. Well, I mean, it makes sense because of the way they were fucking talking and shit. I just thought that was fucking hilarious. And then when she opened the door, and she saw that they were just trying to, like, remove a splinter, she was still pissed off, bro. She was, like... She was like, give me them fucking tweezers, bro. That's my job. That was hilarious, dude. And then um, when they were doing the little piggyback and shit and uh, his fucking hand slipped, uh, 
You saw she got hella embarrassed and shy and shit. She fucking ran out of there, bro. That was hilarious. And then towards the end, bro, we saw Karma right there a little bit because she was trying to fuck with him and be like, hey, what am I... Guess what I'm doing? And he's like watching TV and she's like, nah. And she called him and she's like, I'm in the shower and she's trying to like put him on the spot and fuck around with him and shit. And then she fucking accidentally pressed the fucking, uh, like the video she had. That was fucking hilarious, bro. That just goes to show you that fucking karma is a motherfucker. I don't know. This was just a dope ass, uh, hilarious episode. I know. I enjoyed it. I thought it was, like I said, I thought it was hilarious, bro. Anyways, uh, catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy and, uh, bye.